I think every single fan of Lil Uzi Vert probably remembers exactly where they were when they first listened to his long-awaited 2020 album, Eternal A Take. For me personally, I was in a long car ride with my friend the day the album came out, and on our first listen through of this album, one thing jumped out at me right away. The track, You Better Move, opens with this sample. Which I immediately recognized from Space Cadet Pinball, a game that came pre-installed with Windows 95. And playing through the track a second time later that week, I noticed that if you listen closely, Uzi even mumbles an acknowledgement of this game as the track starts. But anybody who knows Uzi knows that when it comes to him making nerdy references in his music, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Actually, in the very same song, Uzi drops a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, you wanna do? Blue eyes, white dragon, no, I will not lose. Or you could point to this anime reference from New Paddock. Uh, dog gang size number two. Uh, put metal in my nose like pain. Uh, now, between lyrics like these, Uzi's repeated use of Scott Pilgrim imagery in his mixtape art, and the fact that he recently customized his car to look like this. Video. Uzi, my Video. <laughs> There's absolutely no question that Uzi is a nerdy little dude. Anime, comic books, video games, all these have clearly had a big influence on who he is. But today, I actually want to talk about one very specific instance where Uzi's interests overlap with my own. The moment when, back in 2016 and joined by Gucci Mane, Lil Uzi Vert actually rapped over a song from Super Monkey Ball. First, let's set the scene. The year is 2016, and if you had to pick a year to say was the year that Uzi really started blowing up, 2016 would be a pretty good answer, I think. Previously known for a handful of well-received mixtapes, Uzi absolutely exploded that year. In 2016 alone, Uzi released two mixtapes, was named as part of that year's XXL freshman class, where, if you look closely, he's wearing a jacket with the Pokemon Meowth on it, and also put out an entire mixtape with Gucci Mane. That mixtape with Gucci was called 1017 vs. The World, and it's on this very mixtape that you'll find the song I'm talking about. The track in question is called Secure the Bag, and this is what it sounds like. Now, if you're a fan of Super Monkey Ball, that beat might sound a little bit familiar to you. So, for comparison's sake, let's listen to the game's music. Ready? No, not that song. Not that one. Ready? There. Listen to these two songs side by side, and it is undeniable. In the eighth world of the GameCube game Super Monkey Ball 2, you can hear the exact music that Uzi and Gucci rapped over on this mixtape. So how exactly did this happen? How did two of the biggest rappers of the past decade end up rapping on a Super Monkey Ball song together? Was this a case of someone just randomly stumbling across the song and choosing to sample it? Or was it possible somebody involved in this song's creation was actually a fan of Super Monkey Ball? For years I've wondered about this, but it was only recently that I decided I needed to find out for myself. So I spent some time looking into it, and eventually I discovered that Secure the Bag was produced by a young Chicago-based producer by the name of Glohan Beats. To get to the bottom of this, I decided to hunt down Glohan myself and just ask the guy point blank, are you familiar with Super Monkey Ball? And that's when this happened. Uh, yep, right here. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Incredible. Yep. Player's Choice Edition. See, it turns out that not only is Glohan familiar with Monkey Ball, he's actually a huge Monkey Ball fan. So naturally, the interview devolved into us just reminiscing about those original GameCube games. I couldn't even beat Super Monkey Ball until like two years ago, bro. Number two, I was stuck on Labyrinth forever. Labyrinth is a, <laughs> is a nightmarish level. <laughs> The one that got me stuck oh, in Monkey Ball 2 is like, there's one called like Arthropod or something where it's like this yeah, huge- Yeah, like a big spider. <laughs> yeah, that level is from hell. Man, that, what was that on the whale? As a matter of fact, Glohan has even shouted out Super Monkey Ball 2's music multiple times over on his own YouTube channel, which you can find a link to here. It turns out on his YouTube channel, he even uploaded a video explaining how he put together the beat for Secure the Bag. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Glohan Beast here, and today we're going to be breaking down Secure the Bag by Lil Uzi Vert and Gucci Mane. This track was sampled off Super Monkey Ball 2. 
SMB2 is one of my favorite games as a kid. Um, and you know, it had a real awesome soundtrack. So that's why I sampled it so much. I pretty much sampled everything off that game already. Now that last line where he says he's sampled the game countless times before, that really intrigued me because it implies that there are other Glohan beats floating around out there that pull from the Monkey Ball games. So I asked him about that. So I noticed in your video, you said like that Monkey Ball 2 had an amazing soundtrack and that that's why you sampled it so much and that you've sampled pretty much everything pretty much yeah off the game are there other like released beats that you've done that sample monkey ball too um actually no so the funny part is when i first started sending uzi beats the first email he replied to was under the ocean sample from super monkey ball 2 which is uh what was that world three so that was that was actually what, what caught his attention like i sent him some a few beats here and there before like some chief keef type beats or whatever and then when I sent that Under the Ocean, he responded, he like, bro, this beat amazing. You got to say this for me. Like Tuesday, I sent him that Under the Ocean, and then I woke up to a reply from Uzi. So <laughs> it's crazy. That must have been a great feeling that morning to like roll over and pick up your phone and see that you had a yeah. reply from Lil Uzi Vert. It was crazy. I actually like, I'm not trying to get too much into it because like, I'm not too spiritual with the law of attraction type stuff, but I did meditate and kind of vision that happening the night before so it was crazy it was crazy to wake up to like oh <laughs> messing around with some sorcery here now this was the first time glohan sent a super monkey ball based beat to little uzi vert and although that song never came out the one that used the under the ocean based beat glohan was kind enough to share with me the beat that first got little uzi vert's attention so here's a clip of that After this, Glohan continued to send Uzi a few different tracks that also sampled Super Monkey Ball, and they kept eliciting a positive reaction from Uzi, leading him to eventually get Uzi's personal phone number. Now, fast forward to November 2016. Lil Uzi Vert and Gucci Mane's collaborative mixtape, 1017 vs. The World, has just been announced, and Glohan, as usual, has no idea whether or not any of his beats are on it. And right then, that's when he gets a text message from Uzi himself. I knew the tape was dropping because it was everywhere on like every blog. And, but like probably the day of or day before, he had texted me like, yo, I got a huge surprise for you. The hell he's talking about? <laughs> so like me being me, instead of putting two and two together, I'm like, there's no way Gucci Mane is gonna rap on my beat. Cause you know, Gucci Mane is a trap legend. Right, of course. There's no way he gonna do this. He gonna give me this placement. Like <laughs> he might rap off of it, but he not getting Gucci Mane on it. <laughs> But as it turns out, that's exactly what happened. 1017 vs. The World dropped, and lo and behold, there it was. Lil Uzi Vert and Gucci Mane rapping over a beat from Super Monkey Ball 2. I'm the king of the jungle, I'm a lion in the sheet. I shoot you and your baby mama, now you die. So that was a satisfying answer to the question of how this happened. Glohan is just a huge fan of Monkey Ball and sampled its music frequently. But I still wanted to know, do you have any indication whether or not Uzi knew that he was rapping over a song from Super Monkey Ball? I don't know. I feel like I feel like he's the type of dude who probably played that before or played the game before. But yeah, yeah. I do feel like though he's like from kind of the same generation as us, so there's like right. a real good chance he touched Monkey Ball at one yeah. point. I was gonna say like now Gucci Mane, I'm I'm damn sure he didn't know. <laughs> right, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Now, in researching this video, I did find one clue that possibly pointed to an answer here. While putting together this video, Glohan showed me some of those original emails he received from Lil Uzi Vert, and looking over those, something about them jumped out at me. In all three instances where Glohan sent a monkey ball beat to Uzi, Glohan went out of his way to say straight up in the subject line and in the body of the email, I sampled this from a GameCube game called Super Monkey Ball 2. So while we can't say for sure that Uzi ever actually played Super Monkey Ball, although it seems like he definitely could have based on his age and interests, he definitely knew the source of the Secure the Bag beat was Monkey Ball, and that makes me appreciate the song even more. Now this story should end there, but there's one extra thing that Glohan shared with me that completely blew my mind. See, it turns out that, of course, Lil Uzi Vert is not the only rapper Glohan has sent beats to. Among the countless people Glohan has sent his beats to over the years, one of them was a rapper you've almost definitely heard of, a rapper named Famous Dex. What Dex does is, if you send him beats, all you gotta do is check his Instagram story, you just see if he used it or not. For Glohan, that moment came in 2017. Dex me, Dex to the album coming. I'm sorry for the wait. It's coming. 
Dexter went on to use one of Lohan's beats in a track called Out the Window, a song whose music video alone has over 4 million views. And in the comments of that video, a debate has been raging for years about where the sample came from. Some people said it sampled Dragon Ball Z, other people said Sonic the Hedgehog, there's one guy who really insisted that it was a Kraftwerk sample. Turns out, all of these people were wrong. The sample came from a video game, possibly one of the most forgettable video games of all time, a video game by the name of Super Monkey Ball Step and Roll. So Out the Window then is, an, is a really interesting example because it pulls a sample from Super Monkey Ball Step and Roll, which like, have you played that? Because I haven't even played that. Nah, I didn't even have a Wii Fit. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody played Step and Roll, but that's that beat like goes and, and it's funny as hell to like read the comments and see people misidentifying it as being like, wow, this is sampling right. like Dragon Ball Z. And other people are like, yeah, it's from the intro. It's like <laughs> just people. Or 19, you, 1980s elevator music. <laughs> right. You see people like kind of misidentify the samples a lot. Like yeah. I'm sure you've seen the comments on, on right. Out the Window. They're almost all about the beat, which has got to be a good feeling. Yeah, no, I know that's that's why I like I like looking at the comments because it's always about the beat. Like we grow up by Uzi, but people are all in the comments like this is Legend of Zelda, bro. This is Pokemon. And the funny thing about grow up is it, there was no sample. I made that myself. Anyways, it turns out there's a pretty happy ending to the story. See, up until this point, Glohan has made a name for himself by securing placements on rappers' free mixtapes, meaning that Glohan never saw payment for any of the beats he's produced that we've discussed up until now. However, the step and roll beat he produced for Famous Dex was so successful that it wound up scoring Glohan his first ever placement on an actual major label album. Dex Meets Dexter, one of 2018's biggest hip hop albums and an album that eventually went gold. I did track 12 on his album, XOXO. I actually sampled the, the first, the very first Naruto ending on that. Wow. That was a different experience. Like when you get on a commercial album, it's a very different experience. Now this is incredibly heartwarming to me. I just love the fact that Super Monkey Ball Step and Roll somehow made the world a better place. <laughs> it didn't seem possible, but it is. And to hear Glohan tell it, this is just the beginning for him. Yeah, I'm just really getting started. Like Dex, Dex's one is really my only, my only album placement right now. So I'm still, I'm still working on getting more. Like I mean, to be honest, bro, I have no manager. Nothing. I'm just, I just really be trying to find my way through this. You know, if anybody sees this interview and is a music publisher, or a music supervisor, like hit me up. Like, I'm down to work. You know, a lot of you have asked me how I make my videos, and for about nine months now, I've been doing almost all of it using a tool called Notion, which is why I was thrilled when they reached out and offered to sponsor this video. Notion is an all-in-one tool for writing, taking notes, collaborating with a team, setting goals, pretty much everything you could ever need to get and stay organized. I use Notion literally every day. It's how I wrote every single video you've watched on this channel this year, and the thing I love about it is that it's flexible enough to let you do basically anything you can imagine, allowing you to mold it to fit into your life and your work. You can use Notion for things as diverse as planning out your week, collecting recipes, even tracking your video game backlog. And thanks to Notion's huge library of free templates, chances are someone else has already created a great starting point for you. Personally, I use Notion for every step of the writing process for my videos, from quickly jotting down a video idea using the iOS app, to fleshing that idea out into a finished script. Notion also happens to be the best writing platform I've ever encountered, allowing me to embed tweets, YouTube videos, and even entire websites right in the middle of a page. So when it comes time for me to sit down and finally edit my video, even after the script is done, I have all the resources I need right there in the Notion page I created. Heck, I even used Notion to plan out this whole week of videos, including the thumbnails for each one and to write this ad. Here's the really cool part. Notion is free to try for anybody for $0 a month. So you can hop in right now and get started messing around with some of these tools which means you have no reason not to check it out. To give Notion a try, go to the bit.ly link in the description below to see all the ways Notion can help you think, write, plan, publish, and get more done. Thank you to Glohan for taking the time to chat with me for this video. You can find Glohan on YouTube right here. You can also find Glohan on Spotify and Apple Music under the name Glohan Beats. The Secure the Bag and Out the Window instrumentals that are based on Monkey Ball are both available on those services. You can also find him on Instagram and Twitter at Glohan Official. Thanks for watching.